back with Greg again. We're just uh, spraying down the water. He's uh, already added some tufts in here. We've glued those down. You can see down here really close, you know, some nice greenery and we've got a little bit of um, uh, static grass and we've added the, the signal box back in. It's back in its, uh, it's in a semi-original home, but uh, it's gonna look really nice when it's all finished. You can just see how once you've wet it down with the water with a little bit of wet wetting agent like soap, the glue just soaks straight in. So Greg, a lot of people comment on this part of the layout. I'm just going to focus down on there, you know, which is the uh, the cutting and the bridge. But what makes this scene a really realistic scene? What what do you think makes it look well, realistic? I think you know the basics of any nice scenery is you need to have variety in the materials that you use. Uh, you don't want a huge colour palette with the colours. You know, in Australia, most of the colours are sort of in the olives and the, uh, the burnt grass type looks. Uh, it's okay to have a little bit of bright green because not everything is, is quite dull. But I think the whole thing just works well because the bridge itself is quite nice. It's quite realistic the way it's been built, uh, the way they are. I mean, I never go to very fine detail and putting in uh, you know the nuts and the bolts and all that sort of thing because at the end of the day you can't really see it and and the plaster rocks we put in here once again you know we've got a limited color palette that we use to stain up the plaster and i think it just works well right oh well we just put a little bit of uh dirt in here we're going to add a little bit of glue to it now we put a bit of wet water on it so that when we put the glue down it soaks in nicely and then once that glue gets in there, I'm then gonna put a little bit of ground foam on the top, and then on top of that, I'll put a little bit of static grass. And that rock that we've got there, that's um, from that's a, a plaster, plaster cast mold from plaster Woodland mold. Scenics? Woodland Scenics, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's uh, one that was coloured up last time, you know, back 12 months ago when we were doing rocks. So certainly it's good, never throw out any of your scenery materials because you just never know when you're going to need to use them. So again, just applying that 60-40 glue water mix that just uh, soaks through and just sets everything so that uh, it won't go anywhere. Greg's just sifting now some ground foam on. We use two cups and we use two different colours. So we used uh, this Woodland Scenics colour here. Um, oh no, it's actually ground up. Um, dark earth and we use this other one here called uh, light earth and we mix them together with two cups. We, uh, we actually obtained these from the Modeler's Warehouse um, you know, up in Springwood which is a great place to uh, pick up um, you know, modelling supplies and you know, we go there quite a lot you know, to pick up bits and pieces but um, just running it through the sieve now means that you, know, you just get that um, natural ground cover just uh, makes it easier to uh, apply. Just applying some static grass now. This is where you uh, put the uh, static grass into the static grass applicator and then earth it to the track and then apply. Got to get the glue just right, Greg. What's the secret with the glue with static grass? Well, you can't have it too wet because the fibres won't stand up when it's too wet. It just lays over, so you need to have a, a fair bit of tack on it. You can't use the glue sort of at 100% because that's that's too thick, it won't stand up. What you can use is uh, is like hairspray or something like that if you've already got the uh, scenic material down that's dry, you can spray a bit of that on or uh, you know, like a matte spray finish, that works well too. And sometimes, Greg, less is more. Less yeah. is more. No, so uh, sometimes people overdo the scenery. This might, at this stage, look 
a little bit like it's too much, but when it all dries and it all settles down, it will uh, it match and will blend into the rest of the railway.